This is how to create the dreamy effect inside of Kid Alive. I'll share with you two methods that you can use to achieve this look. The first method you might be familiar with is to simply duplicate your clip, have a copy of it placed above. And now with the top clip selected, let's go over to effects and we're going to look for luma key, add the luma key. And then we can look for blur. So I'll write blur and we'll grab the Gaussian blur and place it above the luma key. We can temporarily disable the bottom clip to see what the luma key is doing. Now, when it comes to the luma key, the lower the threshold, the more of your image will be selected. The higher the threshold, the less of your image will be selected relative to the brightness. So set the threshold to 100. Now for the slope, it determines the transition width between the selected areas and the non-selected areas. So the higher the slope, the cleaner the edges and the softer the selection looks. So you can set the slope to something around 30. Now over in the Gaussian Blur, you can set it between 30 and 50. I'll go for 30 for this one. And now we can enable the bottom clip. And of course, this is not the final result. The last thing to do is to click at the bottom left corner of the top clip so we can add a composition strip, make sure it fits the entire length. And now we can switch from wipe over to Cairo Blend and change the blend mode from normal to screen. And from there, you can use the opacity slider to control the opacity of the top clip. Feel free to adjust the values to match your footage. So that's it for method number one. And now for the second method, which is actually the simplest one and the one that I personally use. Let's go over to the effects and we'll look for the glow. And let's add the soft glow to our clip. And now you can choose between the blend modes screen, overlay or add. But you really want to go with either screen or add as overlay is not going to give you the dreamy effect. Screen is a lot softer than add. If you look outside the window here, when using add, it clips. And if we use screen instead, we get this glow effect without the clipping. You can control the spread of the glow using the blur slider. So as you decrease it, the less of a blur it's going to have and the more localized it will be. The more you increase it, the more it's going to spread and even leak into darker areas. Control the amount of brightness you want to add to your scene with the brightness slider. And finally, we have the sharpness, which is similar to the blur. But if you decrease the sharpness, the more spread out the glow is going to be. And if you increase the sharpness, the more localized it's going to be. So you can use these sliders to adjust the look and get the results you want. Now, I have a Kofi link down in the description if you'd like to support the channel. You can click on this playlist here to learn more about Kaden Live. And thanks for watching.